Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited because I'm here with Stephanie, aka Stephanie, and today we are going to be decorating a cake. weeks ago at an event and we got to talking and she showed me her Instagram account and I couldn't believe how amazing all Thank the cakes you. were. And so I asked, can we please do a video together? I would love to show everyone how amazing this is. And here we are. Carly, thank you so much for coming. I've been a fan for a very long time. Oh, I'm so you. excited to create a cake to match your shirt. I'm so We're going to have a little gingham party here and you're going to see how easy it is for you to decorate a cake at home. We're gonna decorate this plain basic cake in seconds. Oh my god, it smells so good. I wish you guys could scratch and sniff the screen so you could get a little taste of this as well. But I'm super excited. I obviously love gingham. It's perfect for the upcoming, hopefully fingers crossed, warm months that are right around the corner. So we have a cake that I baked earlier today and it's covered with the first layer of frosting. Usually we call that the crumb coat. You can see it sort of collects all the little crumbs. Oh, I see. But we're gonna cover it with a second coat of frosting. Will you taste? Let's give it a taste. Uh, I want to know what you think. How is that? Oh my god. This is so, so this good. This is just butter, confectioner, sugar, and heavy cream. Three simple ingredients to create the best frosting. I, I mean, don't want to know how. calories. And how does this taste? Literally like heaven. Oh, okay. So <laughs> heaven in a <the> tub. <laughs> so we just want to add some. This is as you, I put this in the freezer. So do you have any tips for like getting this? Layer. I use this great little turntable. Oh, I see. And oh, I wow. just really keep the knife, you know, in one place. But I'm just gonna, you see, frost it on. How did you get started with cakes? I have been passionate about desserts since I was a little girl, baking breads and cakes and pies and tarts since I, you know, since before I can remember. Hence, I earned the nickname Chefany. I mean, your name really could have been more perfect. I, <laughs> and I don't think my parents ever would have guessed that I would become a chef. Did but you want to do it professionally? From the time I was 16. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. So I am really, truly obsessed with baking. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Do you want another taste? Maybe a little bit. So you see, I'm just applying. This is pretty simple. And when you just keep your knife in one place on the turntable, it'll just go on pretty smooth. I want the sheets to be able to stick to something. So I'm applying the second okay. layer. Plus, I believe you can never have enough frosting. Yeah. After getting a couple tastes of it, that is definitely true. Oh well, I hope you think so. You think you can do this, Carly? Uh, Are you I'll a chef? Try. You know, my mom bakes. Yeah. So I always grew up baking mostly cookies. Okay. That was like her specialty. Okay. okay. How do I do you just panic. stick it on. Don't panic. Okay. You can do it, girl. Um, You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> my mom was all about cookies, so I was always baking cookies and breads with her. But I would kind of let her take the lead, and I would just follow along, but we always had fresh baked goods at all times in our house. And that is a lucky way to grow we'd up. We'd come home from school and literally have like chocolate chip cookies waiting for us on the, the island, like that ready to eat. so <laughs> nice. But now she actually does cake pops. So we're baking a lot of cakes, but they're just to crumble in. Oh, not like my goodness. Cake. She and I should team up because I usually cut off the top bump and throw it away. Oh, you should make cake pops. Yes. I showed her your Instagram and I Aww. think she was like, I wonder if you can apply that kind you of can. thing to a ball. You can. So you can just stick them on the wet candy melts mm. and they'll stick. Really to anything like frosting, icing, melted chocolate, candy melts, all that good stuff. If you don't know what we're talking about, I'm going to leave a card for the video that we did with my mom on how she does her cake pops, and you can just click the right corner. So now the cake is fully frosted. You see we've applied the second layer. Perfect. I could it's just stick it like this. You could. But we want it to look preppy. I know. I we want it to up. match your shirt. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so you were saying something interesting earlier while we were icing, and that's this cake you baked yourself and frosted it yes. with homemade frosting, which smells amazing. Let me just say it again. But you don't have to do that. No. You can buy the cake at Costco. Your mom can bake the cake. You can buy the cake and apply your favorite Duncan Hines frosting. You can really do whatever. The sheets stick to anything that's wet, really. That's amazing. So you can you can always say you did it yourself because you decorated it yourself. That counts. And if you pick it up, you're staying as a house guest, you can just pick it up on your way and then decorate it when you get there, something, whatever. Oh, if you live in Florida, you can go to Publix and get the Publix cake. There's no better cake in the world. It's a delicious cake. cake. Publix has delicious cakes. Okay, so what comes next? 
So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make a kiss. This is the part I'm so excited about. Oh my gosh. Her Instagram made it look so. Really I'm just gonna easy. remove. I, I pre-cut these okay. sheets. And how do you like measure that out? I just use a little ruler. Oh, that's enough. So I know that it's a little over three inches tall. And then I just I'm gonna just stick this on. And it can you just, eat this paper? Totally. I'm gonna give you a little taste. So this is totally edible, Carly. Do you want to try it? I do. All right. This is a little gingham sheet. I just put it in my mouth. Yeah, you just and it melts. Yeah, and you see it's a little sweet, mild mm -hmm. flavor. It kind of tastes like the, the icing, yeah. but it's paper. And when it sets into the frosting, it won't have a papery texture at all. You, it, it really tastes like, like a gum almost. Mm -hmm. It's a little gummy. Yeah. But you've had fondant before. Yes. It's much thinner than fondant. So much thinner. Have you ever, fondant cakes I think look beautiful and then you go to eat them and it's like a half dog. Right, of. right. But this is, I, I think this looks beautiful it's and it's so a nice thin. alternative to fondant. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to roll it out if you're a baker. You just buy the sheets and you stick them on like so. This is so awesome. Do you want to apply this second side? Yeah. All right, you ready? Yep. Okay, do I have to peel it? You're going to show the world how easy you are. Just make sure you match up the corners. No, it's already off the backing sheet. Whoops. Okay. And go. Oh yeah. boy. What if it goes over? It's okay. I just want to make sure which one is. All right, we're good. Okay. Huh? That's it. That is it. I'm gonna do a little trim job. Harley, you just aced that. Woo! You could come work here. Guys, like, whenever I do this, I just feel like I don't breathe. <laughs> I'm just shimming it. You oh, really, my mom would love to work here. Oh, well she's welcome anytime. It's so easy to do this at home. And we ship these sheets all over the country. Oh really? All over the world, yeah. So if you live in like the tri-state area, you can get a whole cake. Yes, I can make your birthday cake, your wedding cake. And then if you live in California, California you can just order the sheets. Exactly. Wow. And the sheets are 15 bucks at pop at checkme.com. And, so and we also do this stuff. Oh, that's awesome. So you can get it to match your shirt, to match your carpet, to match your wallpaper. What if someone had like a dance costume? You could just like totally. dance costume. Totally. Really good and creative here. Oh, a cute Halloween one. <laughs> yes. Anything oh, really. Actually, I'm going to leave a link to the Instagram in the description box, but she did over the holidays, I think, an amazing tartan cake. It was unbelievable. Thank you. It really just made my heart sing. Oh. And I will definitely be ordering one next Christmas. Oh, for sure. I hope. Getting them in the summer. Cloud in the winter. I love I'm it. All about it. <laughs> so now I'm just going to, you see how there's little spaces where I could flatten it out a little? Yeah. I'm just going to use a little oh, wow. extra frosting. It's perfect how the knife lines up and just fills in the gap perfectly. I swear. Everyone has a different technique. I always use a butter knife. Yeah, that's the best way. And it's easy and you can always find a, a long one. handle. <laughs> exactly. Do you have a favorite flavor cake? You know, I really like birthday cake. Uh huh. Like classic eight year old birthday party cake. Yeah. Sheet cake. Oh. But I'll really, love. if you put any cake in front of me, I'll eat it. Oh my gosh, I love that. Not picky. <laughs> what about you? Do you have a specialty that you like to? I love vanilla or chocolate. Just oh, classic, classic flavors. I'd like to think that over the years, I've, I've, you know, gotten my recipe down pat. Yeah, do you have like your own special? I do. And they're both on chefy.com. Oh, okay. We'll leave links to those two in the description box. So we've now wrapped the cake. I can not flat in the this. top. And now for the grand finale, we're gonna stick on the top sheets. So I've cut out a little square. This cake is six inches. And I've cut out a square a little larger than that. And I'm just gonna pat it down a little. Do you wanna trim the corners a little? Okay, what do I do? You just trim them. You're a natural. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying to cut these little sheets. It feels good, right? Yeah. You can see the circle coming closer. Yep. Picturing it. What made you decide to do this? Like, did you have a one cake where you're like, this is what I have a vision for? I always, I love preppy patterns. I love all patterns. And I wanted to make an easy way to match your close to your cakes. Oh, I so love that. So I started producing these and designing these. And here we are today. These sheets have been on the Today Show, Oprah Magazine, Refinery, all over the place. Probably the Preps with YouTube channel. <laughs> exactly. Good company. That's it today. Okay, so now you're trimming I'm just it. using a little, little scissor. And I'm just trimming it so you know to make the circle. Yeah. It's coming right together. And it's not so hard. I think anyone can do this. I really think anyone could, especially if you aren't even a baker, you could just buy a pre-baked cake, like yeah. you were saying. So I don't think you can have a gingham party without a gingham cake. No. Well now I can now you can't know that it's possible. Can I touch it? Yeah. How does it feel? Like a beautiful little gift. 
It's the perfect toast to skip. Now when you go to summer parties, you can just bring a baking cake. You can ask what the or ask what the ho what are you wearing? Exactly, and you can customize a sheet and a cake for the hostess. How fun! Oh man, that's so fun. Perfect for Instagram. Perfect for eating that. too. That's true. So we have successfully decorated this gingham cake. How do you feel? Well, A, I think it looks amazing, and B, I cannot wait to taste it. Okay, are you ready? Can I cut it open? Yeah, let's do it. All right, off we go. Okay, we're just gonna cut through it. Oh, oh this looks and smells amazing. And it just cuts seamlessly. Yeah, that's so easy. So easy. Oh my God, even the little again. slice looks so cute. Are you ready for your slice? Yes. So you see we just have two layers of yellow cake oh with a thick, good layer of my famous buttercream frosting. I call it comeback frosting, so you'll come back, visit me, have some more frosting here. Ready? Ready. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. And the gingham, it just works. You don't really taste it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. You don't taste it at all. Thank you so much for coming, Carly. Thank you so much for showing me how to make this cake. I can't wait to order like a million for every oh. event and party that I go to. Every outfit. Yeah, that's what I really need. Cake for breakfast to match my outfit. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to do the rest of this cake. Carter, you want some? <laughs>